Hi, 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 Do you have a question you wanted to ask me? What did you do? Yes, yeah, that's the story I need to tell you. We went fishing on the Cumberland River, which is here in Nashville. And does the river move? Does the water move in a river? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. So that is moving water in the Cumberland River. So we went fishing and we took the kids and Jenny, Jenny is sometimes clutchy. So one time she was just standing there and she just fell over. Well, so it wasn't a surprise that while we were fishing that Jenny threw her fishing line into the water and she went right along with it. So she's screaming, help, help, and I was like, just wait, it's going to be okay, just wait, just relax and float. I know the water's moving fast, but it will be slow soon. So I hopped on a bike and I rode down until she slowed down in the slow water. So what did she go from? What yes. kind of water? Yes. Fast yes. water to slow, slow water. And what kind of water is the Cumberland River? Fast. fast. Moving. Moving. Moving water. And how can water move? By current. How can it move? Fast or slow. Fast or slow, that's right. Okay. So anyway, so Jenny got down here and she was fine and I got her out of the water and, and she's great now. So that's what happened in the Cumberland River. So that was on Saturday. So Sunday the kids wanted to go fishing again. So we decided we're not going to take them to the river again in case Jenny falls in again. We'll take them to the lake. So we went to Old Hickory Lake because it's right by our house. So we went fishing there, but I want to tell you, in a lake, there are three zones of a lake, and it's the L and the O and the D, the load. So tell me what's the L, does anybody know? The Solatoral Zone. The Zone, and how do you spell that? L-I-T-O-R-A-L. -E oh, that's right, the Littoral Zone. So that's where the water hits the land. And then the O is the open. open water. Now that open water goes all the way across the top of the lake. All right? That's all the open water. And then there's one more zone. Deep, 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 deep water. Deep water zone. Do you know what live in the deep water? The Loch Four Monster. What kind of fish? Big fish. Catfish. Catfish. That's right. Catfish and carp. Okay, so they're down in the deep water. So where the water hits the land is the L, which is the the O is the open water, and the open water goes from the littoral all the way over across the lake, okay? Open water, and then down low is the DD. And do you know the water is only as deep as the what? Light can reach. As deep as the light can reach, that's right. Okay, good. So this is Old Hickory Lake, and this is where we fishing, and everything went really well there. Well, then they love to go fishing. So we told them next time we go to Florida, we're going to take them fishing. But let me tell you where. We're going to take them fishing in the wetlands because there's a lot of wetlands in Florida. So there are two types of wetlands. There is a marsh. And we went to a marsh one time, and there was a cat in the marsh. And I was so scared that it was going to fall down in the water. But the only thing I saw was the cattail. Do you know what a cattail is? <laughs> no, I didn't see a real cat. There are cattails there. Do you all know what a cattail is? It's yeah. a, it's a plant, plant that looks like a cattail. Yeah, a little thing with a brown thing on top. Well, that's a cattail. So I want you to remember it because I saw a Martian cat while I was in the marsh or at the marsh in Florida. And there are also tall grasses in a marsh. But there's also one other type of wetland, and that is a swamp. And a swamp has trees. Trees, trees that's right. And a marsh does not. And a swamp would have vines also. So you need to remember both a marsh and a swamp in the difference. And there's one other thing I have to tell you about. And, and that is when a lake turns into a forest. Does anybody know how a lake turns into a forest? <coughs> I asked you to look it up. Okay, I'm going to go back over and tell my story. By the time I get back to the lake and a forest, I want somebody to look it up and tell me. 
Hickory Lake. Hickory Lake. And Old Hickory Lake is what kind of water? Moving water. Still, still water. Still. still water. That's right. Still water. Okay. So in still water, we got the L O D, and the L is the littoral zone, and the O is the open water zone, and the D is the deep. deep. What lives in the deep water? Cat Catfish. Okay. That's right. Okay. And then I told you about wetlands. And there are two types of wetlands. Where did I see a cat? In the marsh. The marsh. The marsh and cat. And where do trees grow? In the swamp. And where are vines? All the trees. In the swamp. The trees in the swamp. <laughs> Great. And then something can happen though. A lake can turn into a forest. Can you tell me how? Water entering the expanding body of water usually carries nutrients along with these materials and settle to the bottom. Dead leaves from overhanging trees and decaying plant animal life also settle to the bottom. Gradually, the pond or lake fills in. Okay, tell me layman's terms. Remember layman's terms. Terms that we can understand. Our talk, our eighth grade talk. Did, can you translate that for me? Yes. That falls to the bottom and then it fills up and trees grow. Well, what stuff falls to the bottom? Leaves and leaves and sediment. Okay, wonderful. So those are the what? Is, what ecosystems did I just teach you? Fresh water. Fresh water. Those are the.